Alright guys, I'm going to show you guys how to get the latest AOKP nightly builds for Android 4.2 on your Galaxy Nexus. Just go to system settings and show you guys. I am running Android 4.2.1 and this is AOKP. This is the unofficial one, but it's by an, an official developer of AOKP, so take that how you want to. One way, actually the only way to download this is if you have Goo Manager. You can go to the app and browse all files, and you'll see this. Just go to devs, and you're going to want to go to Roman. So go down to the R's, or you can also use that little search box, but it's no fun. So when you find Roman, you're going to look for AOKP Maguro. He also has this for the Nexus 7 and the Nexus 4, and this is the Galaxy Nexus. And you see that the latest build was December 1st. That's what I have downloaded and installed. Once you download these, go back to you see this screen. And you're going to need to go to G Apps and look for the JB ones for 1130. Don't try to flash ICS G Apps and tell me Google Now doesn't work, please. I had that before. And you see 1130, 2012, which is two days ago. And then you just flash it like any other normal ROM. So let's go into these. I have a custom theme. It's called Skycore by Nitros. So I'll put a link for it in the description for the market. We are going to go into settings. And under ROM control, they almost have everything ported from their previous builds. So if you go under general UI, you can still have your custom boot animations. You can just disable it. You can have your carry label notification background um have the background like the transparency have your notification count vibrate when you expand the notification you can have the kill all so if you tap this you can have the kill all button right there so let's go back you can have the recent rams bar too let's see up there at the top now i have that oops where it showed how much i have free and stuff like that hold back to kill if you just hold that, it kills the app. And then allow 180 degrees rotation and the alternative, like when you select an app and it asks you which app to open it with, you can choose the old one. Under lock screen, there's not really much here besides text color, battery percentage, and lock screen rotation. So let me show you guys lock screen real quick. And it's just a stock Android 4.2 where if you swipe over here you have the camera and I have a Falcon widget you can add all your widgets still and if you press and hold this you still have Google now so let's just unlock it go back and at navigation bar you see I have five custom buttons at the uh, bottom you can still you can have up to seven but five is kind of enough seven is what you probably use on tablet so if we go up here, we can choose any of these that we want. And also we can have a custom app. We can change the color of the buttons from right there. Change the glow color. And we can still have our nav ring targets. So you can choose the number. You can have up to 5. You can long press for another app. So you can have up to 10. But if we go here, you see I have Falcon Pro. I have Google Now and Cal I mean the camera. Oops. So if I long press and I slide up, you see camera, Google Now, and Falcon. So let's go back. And just some other, like, height and width of the navigation bar, stuff like that. And if we go up here, we have the, we have the same battery icons as before. We still have their cool looking circle mod that they ported from 4.1. We can have the battery bar. As you see, I have at the top a little battery bar above the clock. I have it centered so like it'll go in the middle instead of like having it at just one end where it goes across. And let's go back. For the clock, you can still have it in the center, right? You can still have your AM, PM like I do. And also I have the day of the week. Cancel out of that. You can click the clock and it goes to an app. See, I have it to go to alarms because, well, it's a clock. So, and we have signal. 
You can just really change it to text, just like the Wi-Fi and color, stuff like that. Under status bar toggles, which are these, if you go over. I have a custom theme, so you can't really see them, but they're the regular Google uh, quick toggles. But you can add a lot more. So we have the user, which is like the Google Plus picture thing. Brightness, settings, Wi-Fi, signal, auto-rotate, and a lot more. So if you want to use any of those, don't try to use LTE on a GSM Galaxy Nexus because it's not really going to work. You can also change the toggles per row too. So if you wanted five per row, it would look something like that. Sorry for the light. And I kind of keep it at four because it just, I think it looks okay. And they're still big enough for me to touch. You can also change the toggle order. And if we go to LED, you have the options to change your LED. You can have it flash red when your battery is dying. You can have it on when it's charging, stuff like that. So you can also set it to custom apps, how long you want it on and off. And let's go back sound we can have the volume panel so if I hit volume up and hit settings we have our custom volume panel which is always handy and then some other audio options and then we can create our own custom vibration for when you get a text message and stuff like that now if we go into theme chooser the theme chooser does fully work as you see I am running Skycore it is free in the market so you should go check that out and we have the Galaxy Nexus settings. Can't really use any but the color hacks, which I mean it's understandable because this is 4.2.1, so the rest is pretty much self explanatory for 4.2. So let's go back. See I'm running Apex Launcher, in case you were wondering. And I don't think it comes with any custom apps. So looking through not really not really seeing any custom apps so oh wait there is a performance controller app so there we go so performance control we will grant that super user permissions and see the kernel does doesn't allow overclocking but when it does you know you will be over to able to overclock your device you can also go into some advanced settings under here. Uh, I don't, I don't know what this is. So, mess with the time and state, CPU info. Not sure what that is. So, and then we can just go home because you know. But as you see, for me just scrolling from home screen to home screen, going in and out of apps, stuff like that, you see the like how fast this ROM is. So, now one thing. I guess it's not there. One thing to note underneath the camera, how in 4.1 they had the custom where you could have the power button as a shutter button. It isn't in 4.2 yet. So if you use that feature a lot, you're not going to have that option. But that's pretty much it for the AOKP Android 4.2 nightly builds. Everything works. They work really well and so far it's just a really smooth like ROM um, there's also CM 10.1 but I go with AOKP because I love the customizations that they have I guess they don't have their custom Easter egg anymore you can still get the Google one though see a little hiccup right there but that was kind of the first one so other than that recommend you guys trying this ROM out and using it let me know what you guys think of it and I will be doing some updated and reviews once they have the full version out but this these are just the nightly builds so if you don't want to flash nightly builds if you're afraid of having a few force closes here and there don't recommend flashing this because I had a few force closes on like the Play Store stuff like that um, but other than that you still have your reboot options which are always handy so let's reboot into recovery and I'll 
so you guys have to install this. Shouldn't take that long to power now. See the Google logo. Takes a minute to boot into Clockwork Mod. And once we are in Clockwork Mod Recover, we are going to go to Wipe Data Factory Reset, which is right here. And you're just going to go down to Yes, Delete All User Data. And then once you do that, you're going to go to Wipe Cache Partition. And you are going to go up to Yes, Wipe Cache Partition, then Advanced, and Wipe Dalvik Cache. And then you're going to go to Yes, Wipe Dalvik Cache. Then once you do all that, you're going to go to Install Zip, Choose Zip. Uh, this is going to be under the O folder, and we're going to look for Goo Manager. I'll put a link on in the description for you to download this on your computer as well. And you are you are gonna look for get off of it the top one right there AOKP Maguro unofficial December first, and then you are gonna want to flash the G apps that I linked to the eleven thirty twenty twelve G apps. Once you install both of those, we are gonna go to reboot system now, and it's gonna boot up into AOKP with the four point two preview builds. And I'll leave you guys on the boot animation. Just still the awesome unicorn. So thumbs up for the awesome unicorn. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see my full review and other reviews of AOKP, CM10, stuff like that, be sure to subscribe. It always helps. And I will be getting a note too tomorrow. So look forward to those videos definitely if you want to see those. And it does take a minute to boot up. So I'm going to leave you guys. Hopefully it boots up before we leave. Yep. I just felt the vibration. Alright guys. Thank you for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video.